You're still watching Breakfast Central on News Central. Let's now take you through some of the front pages of the dailies for today, November the 2nd, 2021. And we're starting in West Africa, Nigeria, with a look at The Punch. And The Punch has quite a number of stories here this morning. Uh, the big story here talks about uh, the tragedy that has happened yesterday. It says, 10 die as 21-story building collapses in Lagos. Designer warned of tragedy. That's on page 4 and five of the punch this morning. About 40 walkers were on site when the building came down, says eyewitness. Developer, engineers, clients, others trapped. Samolu orders investigation. This is a very sad story. We also have this um, when we have more details in this in our top story for you this morning. You can see the picture here of the rubble. You can see people who are trying to help help and you can see the big machine they're also trying to um, bring out people and uh, make sure that everyone is safe there's more details on page four and five of the punch this morning now also on page 11 uh, the update on orderly outrage grows raid team leader whistleblower face police panel that's on page 11 also um, of the punch this morning and on page two it says Fuel queues resurface in Nasarawa, Abuja, Niger. Marketers high price. <laughs> um, always at this time of the year, it's almost almost a yearly thing. Although in the past two, three, four years, um, we haven't seen fuel scarcity in this part of um, of Nigeria. But let's just hope we're not having a similar scenario again. But you can go to page two of the punch. All right, away from the punch, let's go straight to a country that is being ruled by a 77-year-old man. Uh, I'm talking about Uganda. Let's talk about the Daily Monitor, and you can find it right there at the front page there. The Daily Monitor, the big headline there says, Universities turn away unvaccinated students. And yes, they are being told to go back home. That's the picture you'll find there on the screen. It's making the big front uh, page there. Uh, you can see the students all lined up. If you aren't vaccinated, no proof, then you have to go back. No studies. In other words, you have to get vaccinated before you can receive lectures, write your exams, ensure you register for the courses, and so on and so forth. We have told you here on News Central a couple of times, also on Breakfast Central, most importantly, that Yoweri Museveni, the president of Uganda, said he will do everything in his might and power to ensure that everyone is vaccinated because there's so, so much, so many vaccines, but nobody's actually taking them. Let's also see another headline there. Uh, let's see another one you can find on the page. Um, to my left, I can see Parliament now walks back on vaccination. Hmm. Hmm. Still talking on vaccination, by the way. And then you also have uh, at the top, uh, Rainbow, DJ Obama. No Barack Obama, by the way. No, no Barack Obama. The boy taking Gulu City by storm. He's a young DJ. You might want to read up about him if you can. But there are other, other, uh, other, other stories inside the Daily Monitor you might also want to check out. Security screen returning students at gates. That's one still talking about the unvaccinated students. And I'm sure that by the time you go through this, it might be one thing that other African countries uh, want to emulate as they read all about uh, what Uganda is doing. Moving on from the Daily Monitor in Uganda, we're going to the Daily Nation in Kenya. And it's looking at the educational sector, but not from the health perspective now. It talks about this sad story. Candidate dies in dormitory fire as violence rocks learning institutions. Heads want schools closed to end crisis. That's the major story here. It's on page 7 uh, with a writer that says, Teachers want students sent home to ease pressure caused by the schedule introduced to make up for lost time. That's on page 7 of the Daily Nation. Also, you can see um, this picture here. That's Uhuru. Uhuru camp sets dates to kick out rebels. That's on page 6 of the Daily Nation this morning. And on page 10, taxpayers losses that's what it also comes out to say how claims ballooned from 1.4 billion shillings to 34 billion shillings as state officers watch that's on page 10 from the daily nation away from the daily nation in Soweten. yes that's from south africa the front page has this to say the voters stay away what happened well it was all about the all-important municipal um, elections at the municipal poll and sadly a lot of people did not turn out they didn't turn up they didn't show up to actually engage in the election so it says concern all round as indications are that many across the country did not bother to take part in local elections yesterday nc worry 
and low turnout of voters in the party's traditional strongholds in Gauteng. Get the paper, read more about the elections, find out why people, or you could say citizens, decided to stay away uh, concerning the local elections.